he just said, I don't care. He's doing whatever he wants, and, uh, he's probably losing his quarters. Oh, he's really doing whatever he wants. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what we've come to expect from Pal. That is, uh, his style. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll grow impatient and then just charge at uh, smashes and stuff like that. Um, like, he's not bad at the game, but he'll just get impatient and then do uh, really weird stuff too. And uh, if he's got games to spare, he'll go all kinds of characters. <laughs> not the best habit, but uh, I don't know. I guess he's having fun. Yeah, uh, unfortunately it lengthens tournaments a lot sometimes, because he'll just go characters that lose, <laughs> and then uh, go characters that win. So a lot of times we see like best of five go to game five. Uh, multiple times he's lost like really early in bracket, and then gone all the way through losers. Um, that's happened to me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that oh, wow. player camera is a little bit too far away for me to adjust easily. It's not too far off either, though. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah, DK is actually up a stock here. So maybe not the worst pick. Yeah, this is definitely a loser's uh, quarters. Oh, okay. DK was probably looking for a back air there, um, but Sin's F smash is going to take that stock. Uh, Sin likes to throw out those F smashes if uh, you give him any opportunity to. Um, not like an awful thing, but there are often uh, better options, especially at lower percents. Mm -hmm. um, like we see a combo here that tried to end an F smash. Um, that F smash would have sent someone to the other side of the stage, but it wouldn't have sent them off stage or killed them by any means. So, as a result, you could probably go for something like grab instead, and it covers a lot more. Uh, it's a lot less punishable. Um, we often see the same kind of thing from Pow, actually, where uh, if his opponent is high on percent, um, he'll just fish for those kill moves. Like, right now he wants that punch, probably. Yeah. Um, you see the fist pumps afterward. Yeah. He's playing for style, you know? And that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, your, yours has the uh, mixed colors. Downvote doesn't carries know about carries much of the top battlefield. <laughs> oh, that is techable even in this game. Yes, it is. A lot, a lot more easily recovered from too. Mm -hmm. Just gotta um, see it coming first. <laughs> yeah, like on uh, on battlefield in melee, if DK does that to you, you're gonna hit a ceiling, not the the diagonal wall, and that's a lot more uh, difficult to recover from if you tech it. Uh, some characters you can't really get in a good position to tech it. Uh, Pow's uh, 4A in the snake so far has been a little bit explosive on his own side. Uh, Have you seen this uh, one before? Uh, yeah, I've seen Pow yeah. Snake. Um, it's pretty good. I don't know if he wants to main Snake or not. Uh, I feel like he currently mains Mario, because that's what he seems to go when it matters. Mm -hmm. um, but he definitely enjoys Snake. I think a lot of people like to pick up at least a little bit of a Snake, just as a counter for people who don't know the game that well. <laughs> uh, that could be the case, but yeah. I do know that Sin knows the game pretty well. Yes. Um, so, let's see if he uh, understands the Snake matchup. Especially from Ganon's side, where uh, Ganon is going to get hit by a lot of those combos, and uh, unfortunately his up can't really do anything about that, uh, <laughs> that down smash. And Pau just taunts away his stock. Oh, he knows how to do the up B pressure. I don't know if that was nerfed in 3.5 or not, but yeah. um, do you know how it works? I, uh, I know in the past you could just pretty much cleanly go back and forth from up B to up air for a lot of percent, but I don't think you can anymore just because I don't see people do it. Like you watch big PM snakes and they don't ever use it. Alright. 
Uh, a good situation there, uh, or that was a good situation for Ganon, uh, kind of a little while ago, but Pao took a lot of advantage of it. He got away from, uh, what happened was, uh, Pao had a tech on the platform, and Ganon was under him, but what you have to do is react to the tech, and, uh, Pao was kind of doing it there. Um, if you react to the tech and don't, like, kill yourself, but you don't really have to worry about what your opponent does. Yeah, and you can just react. Yeah, no so wait, let them take an option that's laggy and uh, cover yourself. 2-0. Pow Kirby. We have a couple of Kirbys in this region actually, in PM, uh, being blue and saber. Yeah, I was interesting really surprised to see when I started take on Kirby. Yeah, Currently I was really surprised when I started coming out here and saw a lot of Kirbys that didn't seem to exist anywhere else in the states. Really? I don't know, you don't see him around. I wonder yeah. why. Uh, they get by pretty easily um, here. Or not easily, but um, they're probably more overrated in this region <laughs> as a result. Um, Kirby does have a lot of difficult to punish moves. Um, the aerial hammer is one of them, and down B is surprisingly hard to punish in this game. Um, Kirby can act out of getting out of down B pretty pretty early, and he has a really useful approach with his up B, like going horizontally rather than vertical. And he can act out of that with aerials, or I think even with the down B to sort of run away. Yeah. Difficult to react to, kind of like Meta Knight side B. Yeah. Uh, Pal plays Dr. Mario in melee, I think. Um, he does also play Mario. He was talking earlier this evening about how he just plays Mario because he moves the same in all the games. <laughs> Well, Mario's a nice uh, average kind of character in many games. Mm -hmm. uh, Smash being no exception. Uh, Mario Kart, Mario Golf, uh, Mario Tennis. He's the uh, everyman of the Nintendo lineup. Yeah. And he's always the average kind of guy. You see him go for those inhales occasionally, and I'm really curious what exactly he'd do if he landed one. Yeah, well, I have a feeling he'd go for the, the neutral B uh, steal. So, he might want to shield break. Yeah. He might want to just uh, spit him out over the edge and take the stock. That's what uh, Blue usually does. They'll just uh, inhale you and then uh, spit you out. Anticipate that you jump after you get in hit, or after you get expelled, and uh, try to punish that jump. Because you really only do have the two options: either you jump out of it or you don't. And <laughs> or you could side well, B or up B, or you could air dodge. You don't have just two options, but you can simplify it and uh, just react to whatever they do. Okay, good forward smash. Uh, Pals Kirby is not doing as well as his other characters are. Um, might have something to do with Marth being able to take Kirby's stocks. Um, <laughs> it's a very long range forward smash. The sword's a lot longer than Kirby's feet are, and there's really nothing to get around that. A dash dance will catch that. I feel like Kirby can DI away from that and not get punished for it. That was a, not, not a big <laughs> down B, but... Marth's sword certainly let Kirby because I had a little, a little trouble grabbing the edge. Oh, he got one. Oh, he's gonna spit him out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that wasn't a spit out. That was just a release. Just a release. Yeah. I wonder if that was intentional. Another F smash from Sin. He's gonna look out. He's going He's looking for a couple more of those to close out the stock. If it, if it tips, it'll kill. Uh, up till almost kills. Ow. Oh, I was kind of expecting an F, F smash after he gets out of the stone, but uh, not here, or at least not yet. <laughs> Pow will just <laughs> go down with his life. Takes his one. Didn't even get the stock first. <laughs> it's 2-1, Pow. Let's see what character he goes next. Snake again. Maybe he's trying to make it a quick 3-1. Maybe. Kind of quick 3-1. <laughs> I 
Yeah. All right, All right. Battlefield it is. So Snake's gonna have uh, that top platform to escape to. So does Marth though. But <laughs> there's a similar thing happened the uh, last time Pal picked Snake. Found himself on the receiving end of more of those explosions than anyone else. Well, so far, yes. Um, but last time it was Ganon versus Snake. This time it's Marth versus Snake. We'll see what kind of difference that makes, other than uh, Marth running into mines this time. Yeah, <laughs> avoiding that one, uh, but still being thrown into it. How sets the mine and then runs to the other side and tries to uh, catch this Marth player when he lands. Uh, not a bad strategy. Villager has a, a similar strategy with one of his custom down Bs in Wii U, actually. Uh, it, you know, the, the sapling? Yeah. Uh, it causes you to trip on the ground if you touch it. Yeah. Alright. So it's a different kind of stage control. It's a persistent hitbox that just stays out there. And uh, people that are familiar with Snake are certainly familiar with dealing with it. But now Villager has that in Sky yeah. 4 with customs. Um, but we're dealing with PM right now. We yeah. only have Smash 4 on the side, even though uh, it has two more entrants than Wii U today. Uh, Wii U had 12, PM had 10. Uh, not a bad day. I f oh, I feel like that used to be an actual spike, not a Meteor Smash. Uh, maybe it's a sweet spot thing. On the forward air? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think the sweet spot for the Meteor is just like his Achilles heel tendon, kind of. Just the yeah. back of his heel there. As in Brawl. <laughs> yeah. But it's still a powerful move. Oh yeah. Wow. Yes. And we got it that time. It was another fist pump and that yes. Was stylish. Right, oh, down tilt is gonna destroy yeah. Snake's up B. Tried to blow himself up, but couldn't do it in time. Uh, just following Martha around. Yeah, I expected him to be laying down some mines or something like that while doing that. Um, but Marth's sword is gonna take some precedence when it comes to close range combat. Yeah. Snake is able to zone him pretty effectively um, when he's given enough space to place mines and stuff like that. But now Sin's on the other side of another mine and has to deal with grenades. Um, oh, nice catch, but... <laughs> <laughs> that, that catch is not gonna help. Yeah. I could never do that. Snake calls home. How likes his taunts. But this time he wasn't ready to give up the 1%. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that down B, which will hit under the platforms. Uh, waits for the roll. Uh, decent combo there. Uh, waited for the, the tech after the forward air before punishing, and just reacted. A lot of what Snake is able to do is force reactions out of people. You know, with all of those uh, tools and zone. <laughs> Yeah. Just trying to have fun with his opponent now. Looks like he sure is. <laughs> That's how he plays this game. Yeah. This matchup going quite well. That'll close As it compared out. Compared to that last snake session. Sin is eliminated. A respectable top six. Makes it all the way to losers' quarters. Uh, the other losers' quarters.